Hey guys, it's me, a little Sir Fetched, and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Extreme Randomized Farfetch'd Run. Today, we are getting through the stuff in Meteor Cave and probably Mount Chibney. I don't know if we're going to get to Flannery today. We might. I have no clue if we will. But, yeah. Basically, that's what we're going to try to get to. We'll probably just get to, like, her area and such, and then we'll probably quit. Because I don't feel like doing her gym today. I might do her gym tomorrow, obviously. But I just don't feel like doing it today. Because, well... I just don't feel like it. I've been doing a lot of stressful stuff lately in terms of Pokemon. I've been addicted to the Poke Radar recently. Ever since I discovered that I could obtain it through a copy of Diamond. Because I went to Florida on vacation some time ago and yeah I don't remember how long ago but I basically obtained a copy of Pokemon Diamond at a GameStop and ever since then once I completed the copy and found out oh man I can get the Poke Radar in this. I've been like addicted to it. Like when I'm not playing this, when I'm not recording this, and I'm not playing through this to like get ready for the next episode, I'm doing the Poke Radar. It's literally like the. I have a copy of Pokemon White that I need to get done so I can trade up my Gen 4 Pokemon up to Gen 7 and stuff. But I just refuse to play White because I've just been shiny hunting and it's fun. Like, just before this, I finished a Poke Radar chain for Shinx, one of my all-time favorite shiny Pokemon, and that uh, shiny reaction I put on my channel, I actually hunted for three of them. I only showed one of them, but I hunted for three of them, so I get the full evolution line. I did the same thing for Bidoof. I hunted for two Bidoof. So, yeah, I've been having so much fun with the Poke Radar. It is, like, my favorite device ever. It probably... I know, I'm just sitting here and doing nothing. Might as well move forward. And such. You know, let me... Hold on just a second. Sorry, I had to get my Pepsi. Because my throat was dry. Because I was talking for like two minutes straight. So yeah, let's go and start a battle while we're here. But yeah. Originally, my favorite shiny hunting method was... SOS hunting in Sun and Moon. Because I just love that method. But now, I legitimately think my favorite shiny hunting method is Poke Radar hunting. Like, I don't know why it's so fun, but I've just been having so much fun with it. Like, I'm addicted to it, and it's kind of... At this point, it's an addiction, and I don't know how to quit. <laughs> Because I love shiny hunting. I've always loved shiny hunting. Ever since I got my first shiny, which was like a piggy pick. In the original Sun and Moon. I've loved shiny hunting. Like, ever since I found out shinies were a thing. I've loved shiny hunting. Like. I'm a shiny hunter. I mean, I literally did a shiny hunting live stream for, what was it? The Pokemon Ghastly. And... It might have already happened by the time that this video comes out, but I'm going to do some Poke Radar streams, shiny hunting. I've, I'm definitely doing some streams. I'm playing through a copy of Diamond right now on my tablet so I can record and do live stream for it like I did with, uh, what was it? Uh, Leaf Green? So yeah, I'm getting a playthrough of diamond all the way through so I can definitely shiny hunt with that because I've been having too much fun that I can't just not live stream it. Um, I don't know how to heal this. There we go. Heal powder. Well, there we go. I have to watch out too when I get to level 41 to not learn powder snow because I accidentally got rid of rock throw for powder snow and that kind of made me upset. Siri, stop talking to me. Stop it. I was holding my home button too long, and Siri started talking to me. I'm 
But yeah, I have to watch out until when I get to 41 because of the fact that I accidentally didn't watch out for that on Elizabeth, and now she doesn't know Rock Throw, one of my best moves. And it's really sad. I got Powder Snow. Who needs Powder Snow? I mean, I still got Psy Beam, but come on, man. That was legitimately one of my best moves was Rock Throw. Ooh, a Dragon Fang. There was an item up here, too, that I want to grab. But yeah, literally, legitimately what I did was, after I filmed the episode, I got it up and ready to be scheduled for an upload later on. Because I record an entire series and then schedule it to upload after I'm done. That's just how I do stuff so I don't get behind. And so... Oh, dang it, my bag is full. Oh, I forgot this can happen. Oh, that makes me mad. Yeah, let's toss this. No one wants that. Um, shoot. I forgot that I can do that. I'm actually going to go put some stuff away, and I'll be right back. Okay, I completely forgot what I was talking about before I went and threw away some items, put some in the PC, and also sold some. So, I have no idea what we're talking about, but yeah. I was talking about how I do my videos, but yeah. That's basically how I record my videos. I get a whole series usually done at once, and then I upload it once a day, every day, until the series is done. Because I used to go... Because on my main channel, um, Blue Doggo, I have a bad habit of not finishing series. I have a bad habit of, like, letting stuff just fall behind. For, like, right now, I think I have, like, three series started that I only did, like, one or two episodes of, and I haven't, like, finished it since. And with Pokemon, I like finishing the games. I don't like not finishing the games. Oh, of course, this thing's a ghost type. So... I make sure that I get my shiny hunt. I I was just looking at message on messenger. I make sure that I get my series completely done before I move on to the next project or I start uploading it. Like I usually, almost always, use I usually. Most of the time, I finish a series before I start another recording, like another series. I don't like doing two series at once because it kind of gets confusing. I've done that before, obviously, but I usually just like going from beginning to end on one series. Unless I'm playing Mystery Dungeon as a second series because I just love Mystery Dungeon. Like, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do a second series for Mystery Dungeon. But yeah. When I was playing Storm Silver, I was doing two series at that time. And that's like the one time I'm glad that I did two series because Storm Silver made me want to smash my head against the wall. That, Storm Silver, is my least favorite completed series on the channel. I'll never take that series down just because I don't like taking down videos that I spent time on. But it is definitely my least favorite thing that I have filmed entirely. Like, I hate Storm Silver. I never want to do it again. I don't hate Storm Silver. The guy who made Storm Silver, it's pretty cool. It's just, I had a bad experience with it. Because the fact that I was the stupid one who decided to do a Nuzlocke. Because I I thought it would be easy. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Oh man, was I so wrong. That was like the most wrong I've ever been on this channel. I thought doing a Nuzlocke on that was easy, and I want to do a Nuzlocke or something on Renegade Platinum, 
like maybe a shiny lock, because I know these shiny odds in that are 1 out of 5, 12 or something like that. I want to do some sort of shiny playthrough on that. That'd be cool. But that'll be for later, once I at least get this series done and at least get the first series of the flying locks done. Uh, are you not gonna... There you go. But, yeah, I... Storm Silver was not my favorite series. It was a cool game. I enjoyed it. For the parts that I wasn't wanting to, uh, smash a hole in the wall after. You know. The first half of the series was okay, and then the fact that I just kept on playing Johto for, like, five series in a row made me hate Storm Silver beyond belief. And that, most of my hate for Storm Silver is completely my fault. I'm the one that decided to do a Nuzlocke. I'm the one that made the stupid decision of doing, like, five Johto-related things on my channel at once. Like, the reason why I got so frustrated at Storm Silver is entirely my fault, but, you know, I still don't like that series. I still hate it. It is legitimately, I think, the most frustrated I've ever gotten at, at a series. It's not the most frustrated I've ever gotten at a video. That has to be a video that either will have gone up by the time this goes up, or is gonna go up. It's my fight against Cynthia in Pokemon, in the Pokemon Black Randomized Farfetch'd run. It took me eight attempts to beat that, and I had to, like, switch up my strategy halfway through, because the strategy that I was using just refused to work. Like, it wasn't working anymore, and so I had to switch up my strategy, which, can I eat the berry, not check its tag? I need to fix Twin Needle. So, yeah. That's probably the most, like, legitimately ticked off I've ever gotten at a video, is in the epilogue episode for the Black Farfetch'd run. Like, definitely that's what I would say the most ticked off I've ever gotten at a recording. Just because of how, mo how long it took. It was supposed to be like a 5 to 10 minute battle. It took 25 minutes. It took 25 minutes to defeat 6 Pokemon. And it took 8 attempts. And every single one of those 8 attempts, like the first 7 attempts, none of them got past Crocodile. One did. I think on a Technicount, no. One didn't. One almost did because I just was carrying it out by... I already had lost. I was going to restart anyway. So I was just like seeing if my HM Pokemon could do anything. And they almost beat Crocodile, but then Crocodile beat them. So like that was the closest I think I ever got on those first seven attempts to beating Crocodile. One of the attempts was completely my fault that I failed it because I accidentally clicked the wrong move and I screwed up and lost. But yeah, that's legitimately the most mad I've ever gotten at a video, and I never want to get mad at a video like that again. Can I put on a repel? Which makes me worried, although a little less worried because of the fact that the leak was so easy in white too. It does still make me worried though for the white 2 Cynthia fight whenever I eventually record that. So it looks like we fight Team Mag- Do we fight Team Aqua next or something? Then? <laughs> With this meteorite, that thing in Ch Mount Chibney will- Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there. Team Magma, you're badly mistaken if you think you can have your way with the world. Oh, it's Archie! <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us, but it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Heh, <laughs> doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chibney we go. Heh <laughs> heh, be seeing you, Team Aqua dingbats. That guy just ran through me. Didn't I see you before at Slateport's Museum? Ah, so your name is Fetch. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. 
Hmm. You are not a kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chibney. Petch, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma, too. Farewell. Ah, uh, Team Ma Aqua's kind of our friend. Hello, Mr. Scientist, sir. Can you excuse me for one moment? I want to grab this item over here. Then I'll be back, because I want to also grab these items down here. I promise I'll be back. Don't wait up for me. I just need to grab some stuff. That I know I could probably do off camera, but I just don't feel like doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it off camera. Because I forgot what route I'm on. Scientist, sir, I'm deciding to come back, mostly because I was not wanting to do that on camera. I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteor right away. And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with the meteorite at Mount Chibney? Hello? Oh, I have to go chase after Team Aqua and Magma. Okay, let's go chase after them. Wait, if I go down this way... This is going to lead me, like, right back to Restboro, isn't it? I think this is back at Restboro, and I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there yet. Well, I don't want to go there at all. Because I think this is, like, legitimately the route right above Restboro that is blocked off because of a ledge. So hopefully, I don't screw up and jump off the ledge. Let's just make sure that doesn't happen. And then we can head back. Because I want to see if that item, because I saw an item on the ledge, and I want to grab it. I want to obtain it. I don't need to fight you, Veronica. <sighs> Wait, he's asking for my phone number. Get it. Yeah. Found a Moo Moo Milk. That's going to be... A useful healing item. Okay, excuse me. Now, there's the item that I'm talking about. A cleanse tag. Oh, no! I'll come back here in between episodes and fight the rest of the trainers that I s I'm skipping. But, yeah. I just wanted to get that item, because I didn't want to leave it. So now, we can head back to where I wanted to go last time, but then Team Magma's like, Oh, bosses, we can't leave. I'll fight this trainer, and then I'll cut until we get there. Because I'm not, I'm not going to make you watch the walk back. It's kind of a long path to get back to Mount Chibney. Or the the cart thing that leads to, what is that called it's this the ski lift is that what it's called a ski lift it's what when you go skiing it's like those little like carts that carry you up the hill is it a ski lift that's gonna bother me you know what I'm talking about when you go skiing on, like, a snowy mountain, they'll have, like, those carts on, like, a little conveyor belt sort of thing, or, like, a little line that'll go up and down the mountain and will drop you off. So, I almost just ran into that guy. So, you can get to the top of the mountain and stuff. You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not just going crazy, right? Okay, so I knew I was right about it being called a ski lift. Well, I didn't know I was right, but I was right about it being called a ski lift. And I knew I wasn't crazy. So yeah, we're back at the base of Mount Chibney. 
and we're ready to actually climb up Mount Chibney now. We'll go with the ski lift. Just kind of less of a ski lift, because, oh. Okay, so it's a cable car in this game. Fine. I like how I'm just chilling out in the cable car. I have no motion, wh no emotion whatsoever. Just a blank stare into the abyss. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul. There's nothing in that soul. Just darkness. Oh my gosh, that Poochkin is freaking out. He's just going mad. Look at him. He's just going mad. Oh, come on. We have to do double battles. That Poochkin is just freaking out. He's like hyper or something. Someone give him a soda? Well, not any soda, because not every soda will make you... Oh, Team Magma are cops. Hmm. Really weird cops. Don't know how they're... I'm gonna switch Powder Snow with Psy... Psy Wave, just so I don't have to click Powder Snow every time. Because this is getting ridiculous. Yeah. I'm like, I think there's a way I can switch my moves. Oh no, I missed. For some reason that wasn't hurting me earlier, but now it actually is. Don't know why it's starting to hurt me now. It wasn't hurting me earlier. No, I'm paralyzed. How could you do this to me? How could you hurt my farfetch? So let me see if I can't switch up my moves. What is it, on Elizabeth? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And let me heal up the... Paralysis. I also put up some more items so I can store more stuff. Because I'm smart. Is that Maxi already? I think that's Maxi already. Ooh, it's the Team Magma logo. We haven't seen that one yet. We've only seen the Team Aqua one. He's got four Pokemon. Jeez. Wait, he's a schoolboy, but they were cops. Wait a minute. This guy isn't a member of Team Aqua Magma. He's a liar. I knew it. I could see it in his eyes. He was a liar the whole time. Okay, so what is your typing if poison's not doing much against... Okay, your ghosts. Thanks. Let me know that. That's, that's wonderful, man. Now I can take you out. Note to self. He is a ghost type. Is this another Ninkata? Are you kidding me? Oh no, that's a ghost type. Yeah, I'm switching out. Hold on. I'm switching out to something that's actually gonna do something. Oh no, Ninkata is very fast. Now I actually have Psybeam as my first move. Spinda. I think that one's actually weak to Psychic. I think I've actually fought this Pokemon before and it is weak to Psychic or something like that. No, it's weak to Bug because I've used Twin Needle. Oh, stop using Detect. You're as bad as Wally. I've never really liked those moves, Detect and Protect, because all it's literally doing is just, like, all it's literally doing 
those moves is it's wasting time because you know you're going to be defeated. All you're doing is wasting time. Are you kidding me? You're delaying the anvil. That's what I was trying to say earlier, but I couldn't. Because my... No, it was not weak to bug. Okay. But will you be weak to Hydro Cannon? Dang it. I hate you, Spinda. Defeated. Now we can fight Maxi. Hello, Maxi. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly instify. Its energy will grow and deep and grow deep inside the crater and fa fa fa. Hmm. Who are you? I heard Archie be bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he meant. Hmm. So you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things used the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important, and it is the cradle of all. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It is for further advancement of humankind and Pokémon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, there is no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. Oh, will you, Maxie? See, I think you can't do it. You know why? Because I'm going to use the cheating strategy. I'm going to use the overpowered strategy. Hold on. Watch this. Oh no! I suddenly switched to Pokemon! What's he going to do next? Oh, whoops! <laughs> oh, no. Whoops. Oh no, he suddenly switched Pokemon again. This is a broken strat. I know it is. But hey, I didn't set my move set. I just said give me four moves. So it's the game's fault. Even if it's not super effective, it always kills. What? I Maxi was caught off guard? But enough. I'll be back off. I will back off this time. But don't think this is the last time. This is the last you've seen of Team Magma. F -f 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 -f. Even without the meteorite, if we obtain that orb. F -f -f -f. I want the meteorite. Fetch, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Fetch, we shall meet again. You know, Team, Mag Team Mach was cool. Yes, I want the meteorite. I want the meteorite. Thank you, and I will be leaving now. Oh no, it's Wellington. If you want to improve your endurance, high altitude training it is. Okay, running on a mountaintop. How did he know? How did he know I was on a mountain? I'm scared. Run, run, Wellington's gonna kill me. Run, run, run. He's following me, I know he is. Run. Hello? Lava cookies? I don't need lava cookies. I'm sorry. Can I, can I not fight you? Can I, like, oh, w watch this. Watch this. This is what the acro bike is for. This is why we use the acro bike. Cause watch this. Hop hop. I can hop up this platform. I can hop down this platform. What are you doing here, man? Ah, what are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is of yours? I don't know, you start asking a bunch of questions, I'm a little confused. 
It's a cop! Run! Why are they all cops? This is just weird. Like, they're like the furthest away from cops. Yet they're cops. There is a playthrough of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire that I want to do. It's a ROM hack called Moon Emerald, I think it is. And it's basically Pokemon Emerald, but there is like Sun and Moon Pokemon, and the shiny odds are increased. So it'd be amazing to do like a shiny playthrough of that. I don't know. I can't remember where my safe, where the ROM is that I found. I might have to look it up again. But it's a really fun game. I played through it through Speed Up, and I used like a team of all shinies. And yeah, let's just let's just hop down here. Let's hop down and hit. Oh no! Have to get my encounters here too sometime. I'll do that in between episodes as well. I can't believe we're on episode five. I like started this series like the other day. I started recording this series, and now we're on episode five. Dude, please look the other way. Thank you. And now that we're in this place, or Lava Ridge, guess what I can buy? I can buy all the revival herbs I need. I'll never... I'll never have to worry about revives ever again. This is exactly why I like this place. This is like my favorite place in this game. Just entirely because of the fact that you can buy revival herbs here. And revival herbs are basically a max revive. Well, they are a max revive. Only thing it does is I'm pretty sure it like makes your Pokemon like you just like a slightly a bit less every time you use one, but that's fine. My Pokemon are always gonna like me because you know I use them only. I only use the two of them, so like they're gonna like me either way. Can I get an egg from one of these two people? I have here an egg. Yes, I would love to hatch this egg. I will take the egg. Thank you so much. Got an egg now. Isn't there like an item here somewhere? Oh. I'm buried in the sand. I think there's like a hidden item around here somewhere. Yeah, I don't want to go hop down there just yet. Um, I'm going to end off the episode here. We're not going to take on Flannery's Gym because we're at 33 minutes. I'm going to see what items I can buy here. Can I buy Ultra Balls yet? No, nope, can only buy Great Balls still. So that's it for today's episode of Pokemon Emerald. Next time, we'll be taking on the s fourth gym. Episode 6, man. Halfway through the game already, and we're only on episode 6. We're going to have to, like, spread out the next 11 episodes. So yeah, that's it for today's episode. Next time, we're taking on Flannery. And we're going to get our fourth gym badge, and then we'll probably take on Norman, like, immediately afterward, because he's literally next. So yeah, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.